Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to tell you about a quick experience that I had a few weeks ago, well, actually two weekends ago, at an event called Pasteje. This is a very exclusive event that happens only in Mexico, and, well, this specific one, of course, and it invites people all over the world of motorsports. Whether it's drivers, people with collectible cars, whether it's sports cars, classic cars, that know how to race, that aren't necessarily professional drivers, but actually know how to perform in the sport. As well as a few friends and etc, etc, you know? I was lucky enough to get invited by my boss. My boss actually raced one of the days, and the event was just magical. As you guys might be seeing lately, I love to be sharing my experiences with you guys of every single event that I get to attend to in the motorsports world. And in this occasion, as mentioned, it was the time I attended Pasteje. I got to see a few of the drivers that I have interviewed for my podcast and as well. This is a really fun fact. There's this really famous Mexican driver. His name is Memo Rojas. He actually has a small role in the Cars 2 movie and he is probably my first guest on my podcast that I met him before interviewing him. Second, actually, second, but the point is that I had sent him an inbox, but you know how sometimes professional drivers have people that manage their social media for them. So I sent him a DM and he replied and he said that he was gonna go on vacations to contact him once he came back. So I saw him at the event and I was like, hey, I just sent you a message and I want to interview you for my podcast. Anyway, thanks to that, I got my interview. I know, bold. <laughs> And then, well, and it was also really interesting because it was a lot, like a lot of events going on. Food and drinks were absolutely free. I know, oh my gosh, lucky me. We also had the race that I didn't attend and we had a little red carpet, an auction, but the red carpet was more like a car's red carpet, not like a people red carpet. There were sponsors that were showing their new cars we saw this amazing car that Adrian Newey designed in collaboration with Aston Martin and Red Bull Technologies. I mean, hello, now this color is British green. There was also competitions, of course, because motorsports people are always highly competitive. And there were about six categories, if I'm not mistaken, in which you could vote for your favorite car. Fun fact of the story, the cars that were displayed weren't just, you know, factory cars or cars that somebody magically brought for the event. No, <laughs> people actually drove those cars to come to the event. There was even the car that Lewis Hamilton won his first championship with, with McLaren. Of course, they didn't drive that car in the highway. They had that in a box, in a special box for nothing to happen to it. But most of the people that had their cars displayed and that entered the competition were actually people that <laughs> drove their cars in the highway. I actually went in one of those. It was so fun. And yeah, that was basically it. You know, it's again, one of those experiences that so much happens in the event, but you really, once they ask you, and how'd it go? What did you do? You're like, speechless, like you have nothing to say. But guys, I'm going to be going to a carding experience very soon. So don't miss that video and of course, See you again on A Girl Talks Formula One.